Hello, this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I want to read you a couple of healing scriptures to encourage your faith in the Lord. Jesus is our healer, and it doesn't matter what you're going through right now. It doesn't matter how sick you are. It doesn't matter how much pain you have in your body. Jesus is our healer. So as I read these scriptures to you today, I pray that you will find faith for your healing in Jesus' mighty name. I read from the New King James Version, Psalm chapter 103 verses 2 to 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Jeremiah chapter 30 verses 17. For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion, no one seeks her. Hosea chapter 6 verses 1 Come and let us return to the Lord, for he has torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. Hosea chapter 14 verses 4 I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. My anger has turned away from him. Malachi chapter 4 verses 2 But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. Psalms chapter 30 verses 2 and 3 Lord my God, I spoke to you, and you healed me. O Lord, you brought my soul up from the grave, You have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Exodus chapter 15 and verses 26 And said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in His sight, give ear to His commandments and keep all His statutes, I will put none of the diseases on which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord. Who heals you? Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 15 And the Lord will take away from you all sickness and will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of Egypt which you have known, but will lay them on all those who hate you. Psalm chapter 34 verses 19 Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 and 5 Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Child of God, the Bible promises that healing and health belong to you and belong to me. And we need not live one more day in pain. As you listen to the scriptures, I pray faith will come to you, not only for healing, but for divine health. Jeremiah chapter 33 verses 6. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them 
the abundance of peace and truth. Isaiah chapter 58 verses 8 Then your light shall break forth like the morning, your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The Lord your God will be your rare God. Psalm chapter 41 verses 3 The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of sickness. You will sustain him in his sick bed. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 7 and 8 Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Exodus chapter 23 verses 25 So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Psalm chapter 91 verses 15 and 16 He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm chapter 30 verses 2 O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. Psalm 107 verses 19 and 20 Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Psalm 73 verses 4 and 5 They have no struggles, their bodies are healthy and strong, they are free from burdens common to man, they are not plagued by human ills. Psalm 107 and verses 20 He sent forth his word and healed them, and he rescued them from the grave. Child of God, as you listen to the word of God, Jesus has sent forth his word to heal you and to deliver you from the grave of sickness and disease. Psalm 107 and verses 3, 147 and verses 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Isaiah 38 and verses 16. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So you will restore me and make me live. Isaiah chapter 57 and verses 18. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will also lead him and restore comforts to him and to his mourners. Jeremiah chapter 33 verses 6. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Psalm chapter 55 and verses 18. He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for they were many that were against me. Psalm chapter 42 and verses 11. Why art thou downcast, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Remember, child of God, that Jesus is the health of your countenance, and he is your God. Psalm 25, verses 17 and 18. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Many times sickness is related to sin. In this psalm, confession for sin is made, and there is a guarantee for forgiveness and healing will surely come. Job chapter 4 verses 3 and 4 Behold, thou hast instructed many, and thou hast strengthened the weak hands. Thy words have upholden him that was falling, and thou hast strengthened the feeble knees. 
Proverbs chapter 16 and verses 24. Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Psalm chapter 6 verses 2. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. Psalm chapter 27 and verses 14. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm chapter 28 and verses 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. Child of God, in a moment of sickness and pain, a need for God to touch your body, if you will praise him, healing will come. The light of healing will flood through your body, for when we praise God, he comes and is enthroned on our praise. Proverbs chapter 17 and verses 22. A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Psalm chapter 31 and verses 24. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart, all you that hope in the Lord. Psalm chapter 3 and verses 5. I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. Many times, many that suffer with sickness go to sleep not knowing if they're going to wake up. They go to sleep not knowing if their family members will see them the next day. But we have a powerful promise in Psalm chapter 3 and verses 5, I read again. Psalm chapter 3 and verses 5. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. Psalm chapter 55 and verses 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Isaiah 40 and verses 29. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no strength, he increases strength. I continue to read some of the words that Jesus said about healing. I pray that your faith will arise as you hear the words of Jesus himself. This is the heart of Jesus, for Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. As you hear these words, remember, he is still the healing Jesus. His hands are still healing hands, and he's still the compassionate healing balm of Gilead. Matthew chapter 8, verse 7. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. Matthew chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria and brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed and epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Matthew chapter 8 and verses 17 that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Matthew chapter 9, verses 21 and 22. For she said to herself, If I only may touch his garment, I shall be made well. But Jesus turned around, and when he had seen her, he said, be of good cheer, daughter. Your faith has made you well. And the woman was made well from that hour. Matthew chapter 9, verses 35. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, 
healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Child of God, he is still the healing Jesus. He is still the healing Jesus. Matthew chapter 15 and verses 28. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Maybe a loved one is sick and you are interceding for them. The promise of God is sure. If you come in faith, it will be to you as you desire. Matthew chapter 15 verses 30 Then great multitudes came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the mute, the maimed, and many others. And they cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. This scripture says they cast them at his feet, and he healed them. Matthew chapter 21 and verses 14. Then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. Mark chapter 16 and verses 17 and 18. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Child of God, this is a fact. If you and I will lay hands on the sick in the name of the Lord Jesus, the name above all names, the Bible says they will recover. Luke chapter 4 and verses 40 says, When the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Luke chapter 6 verses 18 says, As well as those who were tormented with unclean spirits, and they were healed. Luke chapter 9 verses 11, But when the multitudes knew it, they followed him, and he received them, and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who had need of healing. Romans chapter 8 and verses 11 But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give to life your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Romans chapter 8 verses 2 For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. And lastly, child of God, John chapter 8 and verses 36 If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I pray that as you listen to the scriptures being read, that faith will rise from within your spirit as you hear the word of God. For faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And what did Jesus Tell Jairus, only believe, only believe. May God bless you richly. Healing belongs to you and health is your inheritance in Christ Jesus. Amen.